Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm very excited to share yet another React tutorial with you. And in this tutorial, we will be creating tabs. Um, what you have is a tab header at the top that holds the, all your tabs. And then these are the individual tabs. And then at the bottom, we have a tab panel. So I'll add another tutorial where we can spice this up and add a little bit of animation and stuff. But I guess uh, without wasting time, let's get started. Alrighty then, so let's talk about the structure. What I have is a components folder and then a tabs component. And then we have, you know, style.js and then the tab.js. So they're pretty blank at this point. In my app.js, I only have a one h1. And then in my style.css, I just have some styles. And the only dependency that I have is the style component. So that's all we have, so pretty blank. So let's get, uh, I guess, started. And we're gonna go into tabs.js and let's get cracking. So the first thing I'll do is import style components, like so. So once we have done that, then we can start creating the individual components that we'll be needing. So for example, tabs, and then the uh, tab panel and the individual tab. So I can come here and I can say export const and then I can say tab. This will represent a single tab. And then for now I can just, uh, you know, I'll leave it blank, nothing in it. And then after that, what we need is uh, the all the tabs. And again, same thing. We can just put that here. And then the last thing we need is the actual tab panel. So we can say tab panel and arrow it like that okay so once we have done that then we can come here uh, for example and i can say from here return to me uh, i will say you know um h3 i guess and i'll say tab h3 like so and i'll do the same for the others all right, so once you have done that, then we're just going to come back to the app.js file and start using these. So I can come here, get rid of this. I don't need you anymore. And I can say tabs. Uh, great, it imported it. OK, and I'll say tabs. And within that, we will just, you know, for now, we'll say three tabs. So tab, and let's duplicate this. So we have three tabs. Of course, it didn't import this one. I'll say tab. I don't worry about what's going on right now. We're going to fix this as we move along. And I'm just going to fix this. Now the other thing we need is then the tab panels. But before we put the panels, uh, we need to hold it in a container. So I guess we need to, we should uh, create that here. So I can say import style from style components. And then I can come here and create, a, I guess, the tabs container. So I can say tabs tabs container right and we can say style.div and this is just some quick css so i just make a flex container and uh, give it some padding nothing special here and i think i should come here and wrap this uh, in that uh, container and that then i need to create the one for the panel so i'll come here and create one for the panel Alright, so this is nothing but just a div with a height of 100 vh because we want to take the entire viewport height. So now that I have that, then I can say tab panel container and I can say tab panel container. And within this, I can start putting, uh, you know, my panel. So I can say tab panel, there we go. And uh, these will hold my, uh, you know, the panels. So I can duplicate these. Of course, it didn't bring it, so we're just going to bring it here. So you can say tab panel. And uh, let's for now, um, oh, there you go. You got something going on here. So what I can do for now is inside, I can just put H1 and I can say tab 1. Like so. And then I can say this will be 2. And then this will be 3. Right now, the idea is we're gonna hide and show these uh, based on whichever tab is selected, but for now, it's just gonna show this. So, I think I can come here and maybe uh, can I just remove a, an empty div? I guess I can do this. 
right so now that we have uh, all this uh, I guess kind of taken care of we can start adding the fun stuff uh, I can save this before it cries at me so there you go that's been saved so I'm just gonna come over here to the style.js file and this is where we're going to start adding our stuff so I can say import style from style components like so and the first thing I'll do is I'll create the actual uh, tab header container so I can say export cons tab header container and it's nothing but a div and we'll just uh, just type in some CSS pretty self-explanatory just a flex uh, display with the column uh, and uh, with 100% nothing fancy here um, so now we need to create the actual tab just a one tab so let's uh, start doing that so I can say export cons and just call it stylized tab or you can call it one tab and this will be a, this will be a button because you want to tap into the click handles and all so I'll show that I'll show you guys that later so let me just type in CSS and I'll talk about it All right, so all we have is uh, just a color, some width, uh, a couple of a bit of padding, and a, a transparent background uh, because I wanted to see through the uh, this background. So that's why I just give it that, and I give it a border of none because it's a button. So if I don't do that, it's gonna show that ugly border. So that's why we do that. And now that we have the tab taken care of, let's create a the remember the panel. So we need to create one for that. Okay, so this for the panel again, same thing, just a background, uh, another flex direction of column, and uh, we will be adding a display of flex, and that'll be dependent on if the panel is active or not. But we'll get to that uh, as we move along. So for now, I'll just add a comment. We'll say uh, add display, uh, and that'll be it. So we'll come back to it later. Uh, now the other thing we need is uh, one for the tabs holder and for an inactive tab so let me just quickly type those so what I have here is a uh, one for an inactive tab so it's just an object so if a tab is inactive we, we apply this uh, opacity of uh, 0 0.65 to it we will see that as we go and then the tabs holder is we have all these tabs we need something to hold them and there's a reason why I did it this way uh, you will see that as I um, as I code the rest of the app. So now let's switch to tabs and uh, start utilizing these. So before I do that, uh, I guess I will come here and uh, whoa, and uh, maybe start importing these here. So I'll just import them quickly. Okay, so just brought them in all in. I guess it's just easier that way. Um, so let's go over to the tab and I guess start uh, you know stylizing this. So I'll come here to the tab and just get rid of all of this and then I can just say um, oh, what do we name it? We say stylized tab, right? Alright, so we have that. So this guy will take a label because we want to you know show the whatever the label it is. So that will be passed in as a prop. So let's just start adding these props quickly. All right, so we need a uh, label. Then the other thing we need is whether the tab is active or not. So let's bring that in here. And the last thing we need is a click handler. Uh, when you click on the tab, you wanna show that, that panel uh, which corresponds to that tab. So, and then the other thing we need to do is come over here and uh, start passing these into the actual style so we can change the, um, you know, uh, this time so this will be we'll give it a role of tab right and uh, on active we will say active and then on click we want to call some click handler so we'll say click so this is a button right so we can just call this the one that gets passed in we can call that click handler and then the inactive style we will just give it the inactive uh, inactive tab that we have over here. So if I go to now stylize tab in here, then remember we passed in, we're passing this active thing, so we can start using this over here. So I guess we can use this here, and uh, I can say something like, for example, I'll change the cursor first. So you know, if it's a, 
I don't want to have it pointer all the time but what I can do is something like this right so the props and then I can say if p dot disable if it's disabled then you give it the default otherwise you give it a pointer right so that's the first thing we do and of course I need to do this and this Let's just fix that the other thing I need to do is I need to give it some CSS so I can say uh, my props and if I can say um, p dot active so if that's the case then give it some CSS you've seen this in my previous tutorials how I do this so if you're not you can just take a look at that or I can put a link so I guess I need to bring in this CSS so I'll say CSS from style components and what I want to do is I want to just change the color maybe right and then the last thing we do is again same thing if it is you know um, active or not then we apply a that inactive style that we just uh, we're gonna pass in so this is the inactive style that we're passing in here so now let's get to the fun one which is the actual tabs and to do that we will start off by doing this and what we have is uh, we have you know these bunch of tabs here so we need to uh, pass in a bunch of props first so we need to know which tab is selected so I can say select a tab and then we also need to pass in a click handler and then we also need to pass in children okay so what we do is we say const tabs is equal to um, the children right map now you must be thinking well what are the children so if I go back to my app so as you can see we have tabs and then these are all the children that's gonna get passed in so that's all I'm saying I'm just saying you know um, just go through those children and then for each child we do something to it right so what do we do well let's come here and we can say uh, first define a click handler so we can say handle click right and this is just the uh, args and or when something is click what do we want to do well we want to call the change click handler that gets passed in so then I can pass in the child props dot value then what we do is from here we return a new react element and to do that we will re use the uh, clone element function and what do we want to clone we want to clone the child and we're just going to pass in some props uh, so I'll say uh, the active one will be child or props dot value uh, value is equal to selected tab so that will define whoever is active and then on click uh, you can do this call this handle click method then all that's left to do here is we come here and we get tabs header sorry tabs header tab header container tab header container and within that uh, we can say tabs tabs holder and we just uh, pass in our tabs and we can say tabs holder like so so that should work now it's saying clone element is not defined of course we need to bring that in so we can say react from react all right so so far nothing is being shown here so I guess what we can do is come back here and maybe start passing in some values and I can say um, selected tab let's just say Z or one right and then we need to define this click handler that we said you can say handle change and I can define this here quickly I can say counts handle change go to E and then the value like so now we need to uh, keep uh, this in a state so I guess the obvious candidate for that is a use state or state active tab you can say set active tab and let's just start with the one initially saying that's the active one of course it doesn't know about use state so I need to import that all right, so that's done so when that's done then what we can do is I can say set active tab to value right so what happens is when a click handler occurs what it will do is it will pass in the current value right here 
that will get passed over right here and then we set the active tab now you must be asking well what do we do with this well so we can use it here but before we do that let's give it some label so i can say label is equal to tab number one there you go they're appearing and then i can say tab number two and tab number three so we're getting our tabs right here we're getting our cursor and all and then the other thing we can do is we need to give it a value remember we use that it's a value of one then value of two Whoa. and value of three all right so as you saw when i did that that actually give it uh gave it um that actually highlighted the tab so if i come here and i change this to two and the two gets highlighted if i change this to three and that gets highlighted so we need to then switch this to active tab like so so if i click here now boom there you go so that works so now we're getting our active tab so now what we need to do is come over here and play around with the tab panel and maybe you know uh, give it some life so i come here in my tab panel and this is actually straightforward so what we can do is we just say you know style tab panel right and then say style tab panel and whatever we pass in it'll be coming in as children but what is children so we need to say children like so so here we go the giant tab we're seeing this here but it's not switching right now so we need to hide and show and all that stuff so if i come here then we need to start passing this in so i can say value is equal to active tab just like how we did up and other thing as you need is a some sort of a way to know which one is selected so i'll say selected index is equal to one so that's the selected one and then i'll do the same for the other one all right so when these are done we can start using them here I can say uh you know give me my value and then maybe selected index so now we need to hide a tab that's hidden i guess so we want to hide so i can just define a hidden and i can say value does not equal to selected index so that's how we hide the others and uh, we need to come over here and then pass these into our uh, style components so I can say hidden is equal to hidden and then active is the one that is not hidden like so okay so now let's start using this over here in the style.js file so as you can see we left a note for ourselves so we can get rid of that and then here I can say display and then we can say the props and we can say if p dot if it's active then give me flex otherwise just none don't show it of course we need to close this off so let's see there you go perfect so now our tabs are showing very nicely actually okay so I, I guess the one thing we need to do is maybe change the color All right so one thing I noticed that it's not changing color because we're using the wrong name so it should be active here we go oh, that's changing nicely Okay, so one of the reasons why I'm using this tabs holder thing here uh, is because then I can come here and I can do something like this. So I can say uh, flex direction and I can see this to row, sorry, uh, column. And what that will do is it will stack them one on top of each other. So just in case you want to have, let's say your tabs on the side and you want to display them this way. So that's also possible. So uh, I will leave a comment here. So I guess that'll be it for the tabs tutorial in React. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Please subscribe, like the video as I have more videos coming, very interesting elements. And I'll be adding animations uh, and more uh, pop to this uh, tabs component. So stay tuned. Bye for now.